StarCraft fans! This is Taco Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Into the Void. This is a game between Kevin and Xanderfin. Whoa! Here on Proxima Station, the latter edition, and Xanderfin is taking his drones across the map for a drone rush. Uh, okay, so on the top right side of the map is an abandoned base of the Zerg player Xanderfin. And in the bottom left side of the map, we have the blue Terran player, Kevin, who has no idea this is coming. He's not SCV scouting. He is not... I mean, he's got a, a supply depot coming up. That's all he's done so far, which is all he can really do. You have to have a supply depot before barracks. And now he's thrown down a barracks, and here come the drones. If he can wall this off, if he can accidentally wall this off, I feel... No, it's not going to happen. Xanderfin's coming. This game is getting started fast, you guys. Uh, getting right... Oh, that's not even a wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, came in on the right side of that. Oh, lifting the orbital command is Kevin. It is drones versus SCVs. Rawr. Trying to get this around a little bit here is Kevin. He's not really microing super well. This is going very poorly for a Terran player. He's running. You don't know. Okay, that's good repositioning. All right, so repositioning in a better place, but his SCVs are getting absolutely massacred here. Um, Goodbye, all the SCVs are outnumbered 13 to 3 right now. I just... Wow, Xanderfin, he gets the job done, you guys. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome, and this is a weird Into the Void to see for your first one, but uh, it's my weekly examination of silver and bronze level replays. Send to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void. If you'd like to be considered, you can follow that process as well. But uh, this might be the shortest Into the Void of all time. Drone Rush, uh, Xanderfin, taking Kevin down to... I mean, almost nothing. Supply Depot gone has uh, two refineries, actually, for Kevin. That might have been a problem, too. Oh, early two refineries, man. But Kevin relocating to this gold base. He has an SCV. I mean, if this SCV was gone, I think that might... No, he has 99 minerals. Okay, he could have made another worker um, if this one was dead. So he's not completely out of it. He is very close to out of it, though. And these drones are taking down the refineries. Dude, do you think you've won? Do you think you've won at this point? Terrans can lift off their buildings. You can't kill that command center unless you go back home and make some flying units, dude. Go back home and make some flying units. So yes, it is 14 to 2 harvesters. That is a little misleading, though, as the income tab is currently favoring our Terran player. Oh, actually, it's close to tied, right? There are two SCVs here at this gold base and three drones back home for Xanderfin, but the mineral income is higher than the blue mineral income. So, uh... It's helping immensely here. Do drones, your job right now is to go out to every base on this map and find the enemy. There is a Marine, though, for Kevin. Kevin managed to bring a Marine with him. Did he bring this with him or did he just make it? I think he just made it because he floated his barracks over. Oh, he does get scattered immediately. Xanderfin immediately scouts this. All the drones need to assemble and come wreck this base. All the drones, come get the base you guys no 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 everybody come i know you guys are checking external expansions that's good that's good but you all need to come now and shut this down you got it you all oh, there we go okay they're all coming this guy's not coming hey drone come on you neither Dr drone come on everybody uh, powers activate work together to a common goal why are you all coming up here I guess they all are coming up here though now, so that's that's totally fine. <sighs> now, okay, so once you've all activated your powers, you need to come down here and murder this. There are three marines, but there are 18 drones. So I feel like that Xanderfin can shut this thing down if he doesn't decide to sit back and collect his drones very far away from where the Terran is, mind you, and then go and try to kill him. Is that, you know what? I feel like Xanderfin would have beaten been better served just to go back and mine just go back and play normally at this point you severely outnumber your terran opponent in worker count all right here we go drones versus marines and getting that good surround action on no micro at all from these marines all three of them do die but the scv is coming in and these are wounded drones right now another marine pops out just in time and getting some damage down that's the whole point it damages the drones and allows the SEVs of Kevin to get in here. It's now 9 to 10 harvesters. And in this location, it's only two drones remaining. Only two. And the SCV and drone fight continues. And all the drones are killed. It is now 10 to 7 harvesters. Kevin now has a worker lead on his opponent. Okay, now it's 10 to 10. Xanderfin made a couple more drones. But I think we just reset this game, you guys. I think we just... 
went drone rush into liftoff command center into drone rush failure and now we're just basically we're starting the game with 10 workers kevin has a gold base xanderfin has his normal base back here and uh we're just gonna try to see who's gonna come out on top of it at this point kevin is just making marines he's making another barracks he has no gas whatsoever and I mean, I guess he only has 11 workers, but the gold income helps with that. I feel like he could probably tack a refinery on here. Maybe make an orbital command as well. That would serve Kevin very well, I have to believe. And uh, is there a fun, there's a spawning pool and a queen coming in for Xanderfin. So 5 minutes and 41 seconds in, he is going for a queen. Which will be extremely useful in this upcoming battle. Orbital uh, command upgrade there for Kevin too. Alright, so he's been listening. He's been listening. Supply depot up for Kevin. As he is kind of close to being supply blocked. I mean, he's not super close, but hey, make them make your uh, supply buildings and units ahead of time, so you're not caught by surprise when you're suddenly 23 out of 23. He just tried to make a barracks and canceled it. Kevin did. I don't know why he did that. Refinery. Oh, good, he's making a refinery. Okay, so I think for Kevin, the game has slowed down a little bit. The first few minutes were very stressful. A lot of drones knocking your stuff down. You almost died, but you're back. You're back, you keep worrying about more attacks, but again, what I always say, if you're being cheesed, holy crap, Xanderfin's going for it again. Xanderfin just made 16 slowlings, and he's going to try to win the game with 16 slowlings. Now, normally this is terrible against Terran, because they will have walled off, but Kevin has not walled off in the teeniest, tiniest bit, because he can't. He took this gold base that is just wide open, and it's supposed to be hard to defend, because it's a gold base. Marine count defending this is 8. So it's 8 Marines versus 16 slow Lings. And here we go. Lings getting right on top of these Marines. No micro whatsoever from the Terran player because, you know what? That's kind of how it Into the Void is. Can they win the day? No. All the Marines are dead. A bunch of the Lings are dead, though. There are only 4 remaining, and the SCVs are forced to fight for their lives. They're killing SCVs. But they finally get cleaned out there. Oh, shoot, there's one still... How is there one still alive? Okay, he's dead. Okay, he's dead now. Uh, that's that's 16, 16 dead Zerglings and 12 dead drones in this game. We're back down to 9 versus 9. This might be the greatest Into the Void of all time. Like, I can't... <laughs> I can't believe we're back to an even worker count after that. That was amazing. All right, Xenophon's making more slowlings. I, ju I just don't see this working out very well for the Zerg player. He's expanding, at least. Thank goodness for that. He is expanding. He doesn't seem to want any more than about eight or nine drones. Like, anything beyond double digits is just impossible for him. So, uh, he's going to try to win this thing with slow, slow Zerglings. He is not getting gas. He has an extractor. He has an extractor, but he's not getting gas right now. For reasons I do not fully, fully understand. Kevin has made another, uh, another command center. Wow, where's he moving this thing? Where are you going, command center? Let's follow the track. <laughs> He's going to take the other gold base on this map. Yes. Yes. There's only two, right? These are all blue. These are all blue. These ones are. These ones are not. Oh, man. This is fantastic. Kevin's like, you know, this gold base is nice. I think I will have another. I think I'll have another gold base. Also, he chucked up a bunker, which is brilliant. I mean, Xanderfin has been nothing but aggressive, so some defense will go a long way. Another group of lings. This time, more lings. This time, 22 slow zerglings going here and can they take down this bunker as well as three marines on the outside i think they're going to be able to this is a lot of zerglings and the bunker everything gonna get killed inside of it as it explodes marauders are terrible terrible against zerglings scvs again forced to fight for their lives there are more zerglings this time this is going really bad for kevin marines are out but get jumped upon immediately by slow links um, this might, I mean, Kevin just lost his new main base. For the second time in this game, he was forced to retreat as the red Zerg units below destroy what he cannot lift off. And that, I mean, that's it. He's running. He's running away. Thank goodness for sneaky, sneaky command center up here at the gold. Otherwise, this might be all she wrote. Um, yeah, so another Marine comes out. That was kind of a waste of 50 minerals there, Kevin. But, you know, into the void. What do you do? Refinery, the remaining refinery dead. Remaining Supply Depot, dead. Kevin is nowhere near being Supply Block, though, as he has exactly one SCV on the map right now. <laughs> one. Now it's a game of hide-and-seek. It is now a game of hide-and-seek. Kevin's like, 
I'll go to my other base. And then he thinks about it and says, no, no, no. I will go the opposite direction. I will go the opposite direction. So the Zerg player does not think to look up here. It's actually a brilliant place to expand. Is right outside the Zerg base. He can't see it, right? The Zerg can't see this. I mean, there is the chance an Overlord comes over this direction and accidentally scouts it, but... I mean, Xanderfin isn't even looking there right now. He's assigned a Zergling to all of the buildings that Kevin has floating around down here. And, I mean, Kevin can't really land anywhere because the Lings will shut that down quickly. Another base? Kevin has another base on the way! Kevin! Kevin! <laughs> In the face of adversity! Doing so well. Resources lost 3,300 for the Terran and 1,200 for the Zerg. He's lost 39 SCVs. 29. 29 SCVs have been killed. He's down to 5. Have you ever found yourself with 5 SCVs at the 10 minute mark of a game and actually not been dead yet? I haven't. I've never been there, but um, Kevin has. Kevin has, and he can tell the story. So again, just moving buildings around. Basically trying to go places... Uh, so that uh, Xanderfin does not get suspicious and realize he has another base somewhere. I mean, I'm surprised they're not talking here. I mean, honestly, if I was a Zerg player and I thought I had my Terran player on the ropes and he was floating his buildings around, I'd probably be like, come on, man. Don't don't make me chase down your buildings. Just, just tap out, dude. But no, not happening. Actually, he's trying to lose these Zerglings by flying onto the high ground and back into his own main base. Look at this. The Lynx can't follow, so they're just like, ah... Uh, Okay, uh, alright, bye you guys, it was nice running under you for a while. This Zergling, are you coming around? Oh good, one Zergling, one slow Ling, mind you. Xanderfin is getting a lair without speed for his Lings, of which he has only made Lings this entire game. Pro tip of the day from Falcon Paladin, get, get speed for your Zerglings. If you're going to make more than two, okay, more than four, just get speed, just get it. Ling comes up and says, oh, this is this is where they were. Where, why aren't they here? Because they can move. Because they can fly, Xanderfin. No, 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 Xanderfin. Don't, why? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's leaving. He's leaving and allows Kevin to land his orbital command without any Zerg escort in his expansion location from his original main base. This is the greatest game of hide and seek I've ever seen in StarCraft 2. Xanderfin has no idea there are three bases up and functional for Kevin right now. <laughs> oh, mules happily mining from this natural lings. The lings are like there was a, there was an event. Oh, he saw this one. He did. He did find the base at the gold outside here with one zergling, and a marine trying to take down the ling. The rest of the lings showing up. Kevin, dude, load S. You can load SCVs into your command center. Load SCVs into your command center. Because this base is toast. All the lings are showing up right now. Some marines are popping out, but it's definitely not enough. Maybe if you attacked with the marine and all the SCVs, but it's... It, nope. Nope. Dude, load into the command center. Lift off. Load in. Lift off. Nope. So many Zerglings. Xanderfin has 26 lings now. He's making a spire. Making a spire. Excellent job. Oh, no. Those SCVs led the lings to the other secret base in the top side of the map. <laughs> Oh no, Terran, you're doing so well, Kevin! Kevin, you were doing so very well. This the sneaky orbital command is the only thing that's left. Now, Xanderfin, if he had been paying attention, which I can't really guarantee at this point, knows that there was an orbital command somewhere flying around. He had Zerglings following it for a while. He lost it. And he might have noticed. Well, you know what? He might have Was this an orbital command or is this a command center? This was a command center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a... Com this because it's right here. Right. Okay, so you haven't found an orbital command yet, Xanderfin. You haven't found one. That means there's another one out there somewhere. Okay, he is sending his lings out to the top left, to the left side, to the middle. All right, this is going fairly well for Xanderfin. He's getting gas. Excellent. He has a spire. He has 14 available supply. He has a lot of available supply. Actually, is that 10, 12, 12 available supply? And 14 and 1700 resources. So he could make like at least five mutas right now and just go start knocking down stuff, but he's not. He is he's actually spreading creep. His priority right now is spreading creep, you guys. Xanderfin. Xanderfin, you're hurting me as a Zerg player right now. Okay, the Lings do find the landed command center in the bottom right here. This one came from the gold. Way up north. And all the way down here, forcing a liftoff. A single Zergling forces the liftoff. Time for the command center to move once again. And he does! Oh! 
He does find this base. Sanderfin finds the sneaky expansion at his own expansion by Kevin. Widowmines are out for Kevin now, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Widowmines versus Zergling Muta in the hands of an Into the Void player. This might... This might get messy, you guys. Uh, yep, might get incredibly messy. <laughs> Command center flying around for Kevin in the middle of Nowheresville. The Mutas are out for Xanderfin. Thank goodness he made some Mutas. He made exactly six. He's got six more on the way. Good for you. Good for you. All right, so he can actually kill flying buildings now. This is a huge, huge improvement in his point, in his uh, position in this game. The Lings are coming to try to kill this natural. Oh, Widowmine does not fire very well, unfortunately, but a single Hellion shoes away a bunch of Zerglings. Again, they are slow Zerglings, so the fact that there are 11 of them does not matter because they are slow. They are the worst unit in the game. Slow Lings are Widowmine at the top of this ramp, just waiting for that cooldown to come down and waiting for the Lings to come back because he will shoot them in the face once again. Kevin trying to land his or uh, command center at the gold base near his own base, but there's a Zergling there. So covering all the bases very well is Xanderfin. Very well, it is essentially one base to two base right now, so Xanderfin might very well come out and win this thing. Uh, again, I I would, I, I want to say I don't see how the Zerg player loses this, because right now he's got 17 Mutas and 33 Lings to the 15 Marines and a Hellion and three Widowmines of the Terran. If this was any other game besides Into the Void, I would be like the Zerg player has this. But considering there is no speed for the Lings yet, I'm not sure if Xanderfin knows that upgrade exists. And there are Widowmines on the field. I could see this going extremely poorly for Xanderfin here. Extremely poorly. But here we go. Mutalisks flying down. Vengeance upon their minds. Oh, they're going to take out this command center first. This command center that is doing nothing, doing no harm to anybody. It's not even landed. Kevin just flew it here. He doesn't know what else to do. And Fine, you'll get it. You'll get it, Xanderfin. But you're just giving Kevin more time to do stuff in his in his main natural base. I, I mean, it's main base in his natural. Missile turrets are coming up for Kevin. All right. I like that. I'd like a missile turret down here by this mineral line, though. That seems like a better place for it. Or like a, a widow mine would be good over here because that's where the mutas are. They're right outside. They're right outside the house, you guys. Call the police. They're here. They're okay. Oh, got a widow mine. Got a widow mine buried. Buried itself just outside this mineral line that Kevin is mining from. He only has nine SCVs, you guys. You have to imagine. You have to imagine what this is. So overseers are spotting this widow mine, but he doesn't have anything that can kill it from a distance. This smart. Okay, this is how you do this, players. Zerg players, send a single Zergling up, trigger the Widowmine to fire on the single Zergling, bring the rest of the Zerglings up, and finish it off. That is the plan. That is the plan. I don't know what Xanderfin is waiting for right now. I guess he... Okay, he killed a Hellion that was running around with more Mutalisks. With more Mutas... Oh, no. Okay, did he... Oh, did he do that? Hang on! Hang on! We missed an important moment. Speeding up... La, 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 la... Come on, Zerglings, do something awesome... And that dies, and here we go. Oh, he does. He sends a single Zergling up a little bit too close to comfort. Fires, and then the Lings finish it off. All right, Xander Finn, slow clap. For your ability to take down that Widowmine without losing all of your Lings. Another one. And the Lings come in to finish that off, but there are a lot of Marines here, and a Cyclone. And the Lings run into the Meat Grinder and take out a single Marine in that group, but that is about it. So evening the odds... Is Sir Kevin here? Even in the odds? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit right now. 16 Marines. A Widowmine. Two Cyclones. And nine SEVs versus 34 Drones. And 30 Mutalisks with 17 Links. Again, this is not 17 Speed Links. This is 17 Slow Links. So it's not exactly the same thing. Where are those anyway? Did I just... Did I miscount? Are they dead? Where are you, Zerglings? Oh, are they just scattered throughout the map in different random places and not really in one group? I mean, I guess there's a small group here. Overseers are here from Xanderfin. Just really doesn't want to fly into Widow Mines. Really doesn't want to fly into Widow Mines. Kevin is trying to hold this. It's like, remember the Alamo. I mean, it's surrounded on all sides by the enemy. Horribly outnumbered. Still hope in their minds the Marines will fight as hard as they ever do for the defense of their lands. The Mutalist count is up to 38, though. Xanderfin has a general sense of knowing what he's doing. 
You know, players that drone rush, I can't imagine they're particularly amazing at other aspects of the game, but you know what? You know what? It's working out. It's working out for him. Give him 20 minutes alone, pretty much unmolested entirely, and he'll have to get a third base. He'll make a giant mutiful lock here. We go. Mulas coming in from all sides. Widowmine does fire, weakening the Marines. Uh, weakening the Mutalists going after the Marines here. There are just so many Mutas and is enough to clear it out. Missile turret joining in the fray. Lock on ability for the Cyclones. Trying to kill as much as possible, but they end up getting killed at the same time. Missile turret trying to hold it, but no, I think Xanderfin. Xanderfin has it. GG out of Kevin. Kevin is defeated and Xanderfin is victorious. Whoa. <laughs> that was great. That was a great into the void. This is exactly this is exactly what I like to see. Craziness. Just questionable decisions pretty much by everyone throughout this game. You know what? Kevin did what he could. Kevin did what he could after I want to say botching the early drone rush because there's no way a drone rush uh, should a drone rusher against a Terran should be left with like 12 drones. It's just not not okay. He just got so severely beaten there. But after that, after that, he did manage to expand well. He got up an army. He tried to do what he could to get as much income as possible and spent his money well at the same time. I mean, it's not hard to spend your money when you have a total of like eight SCVs, but but he spent it. He spent it nonetheless. Widow mines, Marines, I, you know what I feel like would have been better maybe than the Marines is just ringing the base with Widow mines. <laughs> this Mutaflock would have probably not survived. Probably not survive, but Xanderfin, Xanderfin kept it going, blunder after blunder, but you know what? He made it work. He got overseers. He got mutalisks. He got zerglings with no speed, no speed at all, but did kill a lot of things. Anyway, 49 Marines died, 44 SCVs, good gravy, two command centers, five supply depots, and Xanderfin lost 54 <laughs> zerglings and nine mutalisks. Crikey, crikey, that was a good one. All right, so that's going to be it from me. This is Ben, Falcon Paladin, coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload and an Into the Void this time. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. And so you must run And it's taken your heart And broken your soul You cannot go back Until you're made whole And you're running Into the void You go searching Into the void You can live A place you can love Is it just an illusion When push comes to shove There's a light upon you reason and a way to atone all around you the planet's
his stars You're lost in a maelstrom Of a great new unknown And you're running Into the void Searching into the void to find a place you can live, a place you can love. Is it just an illusion? to show Into the void And you're running Into the void